Ah, gosh dang it, guys. I don't know why I'm about to tell you this story. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> guys, welcome to the one-year anniversary of Story Saturday. A year goes by pretty freaking fast, and this is by far the most embarrassing story I've ever told, at least on this channel. Now, this is a story that not even my parents know about. At least, I haven't confirmed th confirmed this to them, so as far as I know, <laughs> they don't know about the story. So, if they happen to watch this, well, here you guys go. <laughs> so, this story, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm about to tell this. This story is about my childhood celebrity crush. And this was probably, like, this wasn't just a celebrity crush, it was more of, like, just complete fanboy mode. Like, I was just all over, head over heels. It was just terrible. It was stupid. But this was about the age span of about 7 to 9, maybe 7 to 10, somewhere around there. And I had this very, very huge crush on a certain celebrity. And as a lot of other kids did, I had a crush on a Disney star. Uh, now, at this time, Disney's stars were very, very popular. And this one was probably one of the most popular at the time. I legit just couldn't resist crush on her. And her name was... It's so hard to say, guys. It's so embarrassing. Okay, her name was Hannah Montana. I'm just going to say it there. Okay, that was... Hannah Montana was the celebrity crush that I was crushing on. Like, insanely. <laughs> it's so crazy. Who would have known where she was now? You guys may not know who Hannah Montana is, but you will know her by her real name, which is Miley Cyrus. So, yes, that was just, oh, so cringy. I can't even, no, no, it's, oh, my gosh, no. Mm. Mm. Okay, back in the day, I actually had a computer gaming time limit, so I had 45 minutes to do basically whatever I wanted to do for fun on the computer. So I would often just play computer games. I would even, like, go on eBay and just look for deals on Lego sets or something, just something really stupid, and I would just, like... Yeah, I got 45 minutes to spend playing games per day. No, I actually decided to spend one of my days, one of my 45 minute days, on Disney's website. So, yes, I was on Disney Channel website just playing games, and then this one game caught my eye. It had this girl on the sidebar, and it was a Hannah Montana game. So, before I clicked it, I looked both ways, you know, looked behind me, make sure my family and my brothers weren't there, because uh, if they had knew I was playing this game, they would have roasted me. So I started playing, and this is when it all started. I then began to go into full fanboy mode. I would spend pretty much every other computer time playing other games while listening to her music in the background. Yep, I'm not lying. I would go to the iTunes store, and I would listen to the 30-second previews of her songs. On repeat. <laughs> so... Uh, I would go and go on to YouTube and just like listen to the full songs during my breaks because you know I used to be homeschooled so we would have like breaks and stuff and I would go and like listen to the full songs while I was doing that and uh, yeah I actually had a friend in the neighborhood and we'll just name him Marlon now he had an older brother who was about 20 or so at the time so he's pretty old by now and I remember so clearly just sitting in my friend's room playing Lego Star Wars 2 on his GameCube and then listening to Hannah Montana's Nobody's Perfect on repeat. <laughs> so we actually listened to it about 15 to 20 songs, like the same song over and over for about 20 times before his older brother just rushed it and forcefully removed the CD. Yes, it was a CD from a boombox. <laughs> so yeah, we listened to that and he just was like, all right, I'm having enough of this. So then one day on a Sunday, the newspaper came. Now the newspaper, the Sunday newspaper is probably the best because it has all the ads, it has the colored comics, you know, all that good stuff. And as I was scrolling through it, I found my all-time favorite ad, which was the Toys R Us ad. Now as I was flipping through the pages, my heart stopped. Inside the Toys R Us ad was a folded up poster of Hannah Montana. This was the time I had my own room and a bunk bed. And so I slept on the bottom bunk, and I kept the poster under the sheets on the top bunk. <laughs> and along with that, I kept a ton of lyric pages and a random keepsakes from that time. And thinking about it, right, like, now, it's just so creepy. Like, why would I do that? It's just, oh, gosh, I'm sorry for the cringe overload you guys are facing right now. But we're going to continue, because there's so much more to this. So later, my mom and I went to the grocery store. We were at Walmart, and we were in the yogurt section, and in the corner of my eye, I noticed that her face was on the package of a Dan Danimal smoothie cup. And I don't know if you guys know what Danimals are, but they are legit just yogurt smoothie things that come in like little plastic bottles, and you can like just drink them and chug them and stuff. 
So I have this idea. So I discreetly walked over and I wanted to be like, all right, I want to go see what this is all about. So I pick it up and it turns out that it was actually a contest and you could go and visit and spend a day with her in a lucky package like backstage and like talk to her for a whole day. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So we walk up to my mom. I'm like, hey mom, can we try something new? <laughs> it's uh, it's called Damals. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think it'd be really good. Can we please try it? And she's like, no. I'm like, oh. And all my dreams and hopes of visiting her or going to a concert were crushed, guys. It was terrible. Now, another part of all this story was when I went to Walmart again, except this time it was with my dad to buy a Lego set. Now, I got around $120 a year for allowance money, so I'd always save up for a really big Lego set at the end of the year. And so this time I was like, okay, Dad, can we go to Walmart? I want to buy a Lego set. And it was actually a big like Lego City Harbor with a big blue boat. It was a, like a container ship or something. And so we went, and basically as we were walking, I went to the toy store, or toy section, and found the Lego set, and so I was like, okay, this is going to be freaking awesome. So I go, and I'm like getting the stuff, and we're actually walking to the checkout lanes. And as we were walking to the checkout lanes, we walked past a container of posters. So they have like those little cardboard boxes that have like rolled up posters in them. And right plastered on the front was a huge, huge poster of Hannah Montana. And it was like right up front, and I quickly just glance at it and then back again. And my dad says, well, there goes Hannah. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> weird. That's really weird. I don't know what the heck. And so I came home and I like had a like, little heart attack because I'm like, does my dad know my crush? This isn't good. And to this day, I'm probably pretty sure he just checked my history and saw all the lyric videos I watched. But I mean, my parents would never actually admit that they knew about this. So I don't think they do. Uh, that is until now. <laughs> oh, gosh. That Christmas, I actually got a little handheld voice recorder. So I would try to, like, record myself singing her songs and, like, memorize the lyrics. And uh, I never want to hear those things again. And no, before you guys ask, they are nowhere to be found because I deleted all of them. And um, at this point, my brothers would actually... They actually found out about this. And so they would roast me every possible time they could. So they would just come up to me and just be like, hmm, hmm, because her initials are H and M. So when you say hmm, it would get me very awkward because it's like H, M, 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 hmm. And so my brothers are just kind of mean about that. They just roasted me, you know, pretty hard. Good old brothers. That's the perks of being the youngest and having a little celebrity crush. And now the final little story from this phase was when I was in Arizona. So we were actually in Arizona for our Christmas, and I was with all my cousins. So we were browsing the TV channels, and all of a sudden, Disney Channel came up. Now, my cousins were actually in their late 20s, so they were quite a bit older than me. And all of a sudden, guys, the show came on. It was Hannah Montana. And my uh, my cousin, actually, she loved the show. So I kind of just, like, silently watched in a very, very quiet manner, fanboying and just squealing inside like crazy. Then my mom walks in. She's just like, ha, I can't believe you guys are watching this. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? It's so weird. So, so stupid. I can't believe we're watching it either. And so my cousin's just, like, snickering a little bit. And I whisper to her. I'm like, shh, hey, I'm a secret fan. Don't tell my mom. To which she just nods and laughs. And honestly, like, that's still probably one of the cringiest moments in my life. Just, like, I, I, like, if you guys ever have those moments where you just think back and you're like, I really hate myself for doing that. That would probably be one of them. Like, why would you call yourself a secret fan? Like, that's just so weird. It's so cringy. Gosh. Oh, man. <clears throat> <sighs> so, yes. That right there. I mean, that was... 10 minutes of extremely horrific, terrible flashback memories, and trying to write this thing was pretty cringy. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. <sighs> so yes, guys, one year ago, I started doing stories on Saturdays, which was Story Saturday. And uh, all but every single Saturday, except for the past few weeks, as I've been so busy, I've had a Story Saturday out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me for this year, and I just can't wait to see where this goes for the next year. I will try my best to get stories for you on a regular basis, but anytime now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys for a brand new video. See you guys.